Hey kids, welcome to Unit 4, Lesson 7, the math class, exercise number 5. We have another choose your own adventure. All of the answers are very similar. You're using one of the math methods we used in this lesson to complete a problem. The only real difference is how you implement that method. I'm going to do A for this video, and there'll be a separate video doing D for city size. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code. A student wants to create a calculator that allows a user to repeatedly enter two numbers and provides the results of the first number or raised to the second number. In Calculator Java, we're going to write the calculate exponent method using the math power to get the results of the first number or raised to the second number. Well, then we're going to return the results. In my console Java, we're going to use a sentinel value to repeatedly prompt the user for two numbers or negative one to quit. For each two numbers they enter, call the calculate exponent method and print the results. Take a look at our code. Looks like in my console, we just have a scanner. In calculate Java, just a spot for us to write our method. Let's take care of our method first, because that's the easiest. They just want us to do the math pal. So we don't want to return zero. We want to return math.pow or power. And we're passing along those two parameters from above, first number and second number. Well, that's all to that. Let's go to my console and write our scanner class. First thing we have to do is store the numbers. So we're going to need an int first number. Well, that's going to be equal to zero initially. We're going to do another int second number. And that is also going to be equal to zero. Now we have to do our set null value for our scanner. So we're going to use a while statement. Don't forget your curly cues. This is our end of while. And while the first number does not equal our negative one. And as long as the first number is not negative one, we're going to ask the user to enter a number. So we're going to need a print statement, system.out.println. Inside, we're going to say, enter the first number. We have to store that from our variable above. So first number is now going to equal the input from the user. And we're going to go to the next int. Let's give ourselves a little room here. We have to prompt for a second number. So again, as long as it's not negative one, so this is going to be our end of if. So as long as the first number is not equal to negative one, and as long as that first number wasn't negative one, we're gonna ask the user for a second number. So we need our print statement. And we're going to say, enter the second number. We have to store what the user is going to say. So we're going to say, second number is now equal to the input of the user to the next int. Don't forget your semicolon. Now we just have to print this off. So we're going to do another system.out.println. And this time we're going to say first number plus, and then we'll concatenate raised to the power of, concatenate again to the second number, and then we'll put this on a different line, the answer. So system.out.println, we're going to say is, and then we're going to call the method. We have to concatenate. And we're calling from the calculator class what method the calculate exponent and we have to give it two parameters and that's going to be the first number and the second number i'm fairly confident i have something spelled wrong here but that's all right I think this should be included in the if statement. So I'm going to move that outside there. Let's clean up our code a little. That looks pretty good. So as long as the user didn't enter negative one 
initially, we're going to ask for the first number. Once it's entered, we're going to prompt the user for a second number. And then we're going to print off your first number raised to the power of the second number is, and then we're going to run that calculate exponent method and pass along first number, second number. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. Let's go ahead and hit run. Enter the first number, we'll say two. Enter the second number, we'll put two again. When I hit enter, I should get four. And it works. And since we didn't put input close, it keeps on going. So six to the power of six. That's 46,656. Looks like our exponent calculator is working pretty good. Key takeaway from this lesson, again, is further enforcing the math class. Lesson seven was all about square roots, absolute numbers, and exponents. The next two lessons are gonna be about rounding those numbers, and then how do we choose a random number? Again, is this an inclusive list for everything you might see on a CSA exam? Absolutely not. But these are the methods from the math class that you're most likely to see. Again, please take a moment, look through that Java API, really understand all of the different methods you can use for the math class. Hopefully this video helped you understand the math class a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.